right, so uh, can you introduce yourself, like your name, age, and what you do at Planned Parenthood? Yes. Uh, hi. Um, uh, my name is Carolyn. Um, I'm 18 years old, and I work as an intern for the Director of Education at Planned Parenthood Southeast. Right, uh, can you like say a little bit what you do there on like a daily basis? or? Yeah, so day-to-day -day basis, I work with the um, Educator for Atlanta, which is basically like a guy that goes around and does classes all over the place at community centers and jails and schools. Okay. Uh, and on a day-to-day -day basis, um, I'll be researching Georgia sex ed curriculums. Um, I uh, help create curriculums that we use for the state of Georgia and for students. Um, I learn how to teach curriculums. Right now I'm working on teaching uh, about 80 people at North Springs about gender and sexuality. So we're That's doing crazy. that lesson plan. Um, <laughs> I do a lot of research. I do some work that's like basic intern stuff um, yeah yeah it's a it's a fun job I like it a lot all right well that's awesome like that sounds super fun so like what what we're kind of doing here is uh we have to do a documentary on teen pregnancy and basically our thesis statement is the fact that um the rate of teen pregnancy and how like how high it is is directly correlated to the lack of sex ed in schools like quality sex ed as in like abstinence only education is still legal for whatever reason in schools and um I just want to hear like your thoughts about that because I know you're super involved with the education process and like what you think could be improved and what specifically in the areas you would like to be improved, stuff like that. Yeah, totally. That's actually a really cool project. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I spent the last year actually doing like a main research project, which is basically going through every single county in Georgia, trying to find out like how they teach sex ed, what the curriculum they're drawing from looks like. Um, I've read like extensively um the entire like standard georgia curriculum mm -hmm. um and then i've looked at like different counties because all of them kind of like, differ slightly um and what i found is like most of the counties in georgia aside from uh really a few in the city like decatur area are going to be mostly abstinence-based sex dead um and not only like abstinence-based but a lot of them are based on kind of like shame um yeah in a way that's like not super healthy so like Planned Parenthood, uh, we teach that abstinence, like, is an option, not the only mm -hmm. option, but, like, absolutely is an option. Like, you don't want to be having sex, that is absolutely fine. Here are some ways to, like, go about that in a way that, like, maybe your friend, because it, it can be a hard path as well, so right. here's, like, a way to, you know, choose abstinence where it's not, like, a shameful thing for you, but we also teach, like, hey, if you're going to have sex, like, here's how to do it safely, um, here's how to do it so you're not getting emotionally hurt, all this different stuff. Um, and so something I found is like a lot of curriculum is very abstinence based, very shame based and that like a lot of times, um, there's this like chewed gum or like tape yeah. material where the ascent, it's basically dirty, like dirty socks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. Um, which is unhealthy. Like everybody's right. having sex. Sorry. That's probably not No, no, just, like, no, you, yeah. Um, but, like teenagers are having sex. Like they mm -hmm. are, they are going to have sex, whether you tell them not to, um, or not and um the best way to prevent unplanned teen pregnancy is to get more sex education mm -hmm. um in schools really yeah <laughs> no that's definitely like what we're trying to like i guess that'd be our purpose of making this whole thing because like i have not taken health at north springs because like i just took it over the online but when i did take it online there was like nothing on sex education barely it's basically right, yeah, just I like it online too and there was absolutely nothing it was um just and it's basics. important and, like, Absolutely. at Planned Parenthood, too, we're not just teaching, like, this is what a condom is, this is what the different STIs are, like, we do teach that, um, but there's also classes on, like, healthy relationships, and, like, hey, maybe, um, you just, I think a lot of, like, people and teenagers teach sex, like, in a very biological way, like, mm -hmm. this is mechanically how things work and how you can make yourself safe and not safe, but, um, forget to take into account that, um, Oftentimes, sexual relationships, especially between teenagers, when it's, like, first starting out, can be, like, very emotional. Right. Um, and if the two partners aren't communicating properly, it, it can actually be super, um, it can it can really end up hurting people. Um, Absolutely. So so we try to work with that as well. Awesome. But it's good. Um, I love doing sex ed. I yeah. think it's really, really, really important. Uh, absolutely. I totally agree. Um, so, like, a lot of the opinions, like, against, I guess, would be against proper sex ed and that there are four abstinence-only education basically says that like if you teach teenagers or adolescents about sex that will make them want to have sex how do you like what's your standpoint on that um i think that if people want to have sex they're gonna have sex um right i like have personally never sat in a sex ed class like 
surrounded by the discomfort of yeah. my peers and thought to myself like I, I definitely guess, want to have sex I, yeah I like the anatomical penis like right. I can't wait um, <laughs> uh, like teens are gonna have sex uh, or maybe not but like a lot of times teens are gonna want to have sex they're gonna want to try new things with their partners or their friends and that's fine like it's healthy it happens we right. know it happens because um there are you know unplanned pregnancies and I think that the idea that if you teach about sex, teens are going to want to have sex is scary and strange and weird. And like, right. <laughs> we teach about a lot of things that people don't end up doing in real life. Exactly. Um, but I think that, you know, if we're teaching about different STIs, about the different um, methods of, hey, I, give me one second. Okay, thank you. Um, if we're teaching about, STIs, if we're teaching about different birth controls, um, if we're teaching about communication, um, for those teens that are having sex and are, are doing it, um, it, they're important skills to have, they're important life skills to have. You're not going to have those classes in college often. Like I, I've been, you know, touring for the past two years and I have yet to hear of a college that like offers sex mm -hmm. and classes for their students. And it's important, you know, a lot of students get to college and haven't had sex yet. Um, and that's fine. Like, that's totally fine. But these, these are like life skills and they're important to have right. because, you know, a whole lot of people are going to end up having sex in their life and they're going to start families and, um, knowing proper birth control and knowing, um, you know, best ways to avoid. And I keep talking about birth control, but it's so important. Absolutely. Um, different ways to avoid STIs, to avoid unplanned pregnancy, to communicate with your partners that you know that, like, this is safe, this is, this is something that is consensual on both sides, nobody is, you know, worried about this, there's not something that, we're not talking about um, all of these things like gender and sexuality, sex ed for LGBTQ teens, mm -hmm. like, yeah. Uh, you know, growing up as a, as a queer teen in Atlanta, like, I never had a sex ed ever, um, right. like, aimed at, um, LGBTQ like mm -hmm. girls and actually like LGBTQ girls have the highest rates of um unplanned teen pregnancy for like girls between the I think like teenage girls um lesbian and bi girls are actually twice as likely to have an unplanned teen pregnancy which yeah. like makes sense um I guess if you're if you're not teaching about specific type sex ed for girls and then they like anyway long mm -hmm. story I did a lot of research on it yeah. every day. That, well, that's really um, good. Essentially, like, it is important. It is really, really, really important. Absolutely. And I hope that, yeah. like, I know that we're still in a southern state, but it's, that shouldn't affect what kind of education goes across the nation. Um, even though, like, I guess we are in, like, a more, like, we're in a southern culture, and that's, I know that that's a huge, a huge argument, but the culture shouldn't accept the, uh, reflect the quality of education, in my opinion. Like, I just no, think I don't that... think it should. I think sex ed should be good everywhere. And just yeah. because we're in the South, um, like, that isn't the only reason our sex ed is bad, although it has a lot to do with our local right. government. Um, exactly. It's, I think, a quality of, like, all American education that just sex ed is not very good. There's this, like, misperception that if you teach teenagers about sex, then they're going to start having it. Um, and that's just not true. Teenagers mm -hmm. are going to have sex either way. It's, it's whether or not they're having protected um, safe sex or not mm -hmm. um yeah all right well um that sounds that's all sounds really good is there any like final thoughts you want to give out to the world before we end this um <laughs> could be anything you want Planned Parenthood is actually a really cool organization. We have services for men and women. We do, like, cancer screenings, and we do sex ed, and we do, um, like, a whole bunch of health stuff and birth control and um, family planning. And a lot of times people just hear the organization, you know, getting um, trampled on in the news um, because we do offer abortions. Mm -hmm. And Planned Parenthood is proud to offer abortions. Um, but it's it's very 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 little what the organization does as a whole and it's a really important organization so all this stuff you hear about defunding it please fight it because <laughs> it's great and we need it <laughs> yes it is well thank you so much carolyn for all your help of course Bye. on sex education barely it's basically right, just like it online too and there was absolutely nothing it was um just and basics. it's important and like absolutely. at planned parenthood too we're not just teaching like this is what a condom is this is what the different stis are like we do teach that um but there's also classes on like healthy relationships and like hey, maybe um, you just, I think a lot of, like, people and teenagers teach sex, like, 
in a very biological way. Like, mm-hmm. this is mechanically how things work and how you can make yourself safe and not safe, but um, forget to take into account that um, oftentimes sexual relationships, especially between teenagers when it's, like, first starting out, can be, like, very emotional. Right. Um, and if the two partners aren't communicating properly, it, it can actually be super... Um, it can it can really end up hurting people. Um, Absolutely. So so we try to work with that as well. Awesome. But it's good. Um, I love doing sex ed. I yeah. think it's really, really, really important. Yeah, absolutely. I totally agree. Um, so, like, a lot of the opinions, like, against, I guess, would be against proper sex ed and that there are four abstinence-only education. It basically says that, like, if you teach teenagers or adolescents about sex, that will make them want to have sex. How do you, like, what's your standpoint on that? Um, I think that if people want to have sex, they're going to have sex. Um, right. I like have personally never sat in a sex ed class like surrounded by the discomfort of yeah. my peers and thought to myself like I, I definitely yes, want to have sex yeah I like the anatomical penis like right. I can't wait um, <laughs> uh, like teens are gonna have sex I, or maybe not but like a lot of times teens are gonna want to have sex they're gonna want to try new things with their partners or their friends and that's fine like it's healthy it happens we right. know it happens because um there are you know unplanned pregnancies and I think that the idea that if you teach about sex teens are going to want to have sex is scary and strange and weird and like right we teach about a lot of things that people don't end up doing in real life exactly um but I think that you know if we're teaching about different STIs about the different um methods of hey uh, give me one second okay thank you um, if we're teaching about STIs, if we're teaching about different birth controls, um, if we're teaching about communication, um, for those teens that are having sex and are, are doing it, um, it, they're important skills to have, they're important life skills to have. You're not going to have those classes in college often. Like I, I've been, you know, touring for the past two years and I have yet to hear of a college that like offers sex mm-hmm. and classes for their students. And it's important, you know, a lot of students get to college and haven't had sex yet. Um, and that's fine. Like, that's totally fine. But these, these are like life skills and they're important to have right. because, you know, a whole lot of people are going to end up having sex in their life and they're going to start families and, um, knowing proper birth control and knowing, um, you know, best ways to avoid, and I chewed gum or like tape yeah. material where the ascent, it's basically dirty, like dirty socks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. Um, which is unhealthy. Like everybody right. is having sex. Sorry, that's probably not. No, true. no, like no, you, yeah. Um, but like teenagers are having sex. Like they mm-hmm. are, they are going to have sex whether you tell them not to, um, or not. And um, the best way to prevent unplanned teen pregnancy is to get more sex education, mm-hmm. um, in schools. Really. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's definitely like what we're trying to like. I guess that'd be our purpose of making this whole thing because like. I have not taken health at North Springs because, like, I just took it over the online. But when I did take it online, there was, like, nothing on sex education, barely. It's basically right, just, like... I took it online, too, and there was absolutely nothing. It was um, just and basics. it's important. And, absolutely. like, at Planned Parenthood, too, we're not just teaching, like, this is what a condom is, this is what the different STIs are. Like, we do teach that. Um, but there's also classes on, like, healthy relationships and, like, hey, maybe um, just... I think a lot of, like, people and teenagers teach sex, like in a very biological way like Mm -hmm. this is mechanically how things work and how you can make yourself safe and not safe but um forget to take into account that um oftentimes sexual relationships especially between teenagers when it's like first starting out can be like very emotional right um and if the two partners aren't communicating properly it it can actually be super um it can it can really end up hurting people um absolutely so so we try to work with that as well awesome but it's Um, good i love doing sex ed i think it's really 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 important yeah, absolutely. I totally agree. Um, so, like, a lot of the opinions, like, against, I guess, would be against proper sex ed and that there are four abstinence-only education. It basically says that, like, if you teach teenagers or adolescents about sex, that will make them want to have sex. How do you, like, what's your standpoint on that? Um, I think that if people want to have sex, they're going to have sex. Um, <laughs> right. I, like, have personally never sat in a sex ed class, like, surrounded by the discomfort of yeah. my peers and thought to myself like i, I definitely yes, want to have sex yeah I like the anatomical penis like i right. can't wait um, <laughs> uh, 
like teens are gonna have sex or maybe not but like a lot of times teens are gonna want to have sex they're gonna want to try new things with their partners or their friends and that's fine like it's healthy it happens we know it happens because um there are you know unplanned pregnancies and I think that the idea that if you teach about sex teens are gonna want to have sex is scary and strange and weird and like right we teach about a lot of things that people don't end up doing in real life exactly um but I think that you know if we're teaching about different STIs about the different um methods of hey uh, give me one second okay thank you um if we're teaching about teaching uh, about 80 people at North Springs about gender and sexuality so we're doing that lesson plan um (laughs) I do a lot of research I do some work that's like basic intern stuff Um, yeah yeah it's a it's a fun job I like it a lot all right well that's awesome like that sounds super fun so like what what we're kind of doing here is uh we have to do a documentary on teen pregnancy and basically our thesis statement is the fact that um the rate of teen pregnancy and how like how high it is is directly correlated to the lack of sex ed in schools like quality sex ed as in like abstinence only education is still legal for whatever reason (laughs) in schools and um I just want to hear like your thoughts about that because I know you're super involved with the education process and like what you think could be improved and what specifically in the areas you would like to be improved, stuff like that. Yeah, totally. That's actually a really cool project. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I spent the last year actually doing like a main research project, which is basically going through every single county in Georgia, trying to find out like how they teach sex ed, what the curriculum they're drawing from looks like. Um, I've read like extensively um the entire like standard georgia curriculum Mm -hmm. um and then i've looked at like different counties because all of them kind of differ slightly um and what i found is like most of the counties in georgia aside from uh really a few in the city like decatur area are going to be mostly abstinence-based sex dead um and not only like abstinence-based but a lot of them are based on kind of like shame um in a way that's like not super healthy so like Planned Parenthood, uh, we teach that abstinence, like, is an option, not the only Mm -hmm. option, but, like, absolutely is an option. Like, you don't want to be having sex, that is absolutely fine. Here are some ways to, like, go about that in a way that, like, maybe your friend, because it it can be a hard path as well, so here's, like, a way to, you know, choose abstinence where it's not, like, a shameful thing for you, but we also teach, like, hey, if you're going to have sex, like, here's how to do it safely, Um, here's how to do it so you're not getting emotionally hurt, all this different stuff. Um, and so something I found is like a lot of curriculum is very abstinence based, very shame based and that like a lot of times, um, there's this like chewed gum or like tape yeah. material where the ascent, it's basically dirty, like dirty socks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. Um, which is unhealthy. Like everybody right. is having sex. Sorry. That's probably not. No, so no, like, no, you, yeah. um, but, like teenagers are having sex. Like they mm-hmm. are, they are going to have sex, whether you tell them not to, um, or not, and um, the best way to prevent unplanned teen pregnancy is to get more sex education um, mm-hmm. in schools, really. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's definitely, like, what we're trying to, like, I guess that'd be our purpose of making this whole thing, because, like, I have not taken health at North Springs, because, like, I just took it over the online, but when I did take it online, there was, like, nothing on sex education, barely. It's basically right, just, I like... I took it online, too, and there was absolutely nothing. It was um, just and it's basics. important. And, like, at Planned Parenthood, too, we're not just teaching, like, this is what a condom is, this is what the different STIs are, like, we do teach that, Um, but there's also classes on, like, healthy relationships and, 